A cloud of witnesses originated because of a need. We were doing an Easter concert, Easter weekend, uh, and I had decided to program Beethoven uh, Christ on the Mount of Olives, which is, a, of course, Beethoven's only oratorio, and doesn't quite fill a program. It's only, the, the entire piece takes about 50, 50 minutes, I think, and so you really need something else to fill out the program. And uh, so I had considered writing an Easter piece, uh, several years ago, and then like so many things, uh, it, it simply didn't happen. But uh, this occasion uh, popped up and I thought, uh, maybe now the time is right. So I frequently collaborate with my colleague and friend, David Warner. So we talked about this uh, project and, and wondered if it might not be a little bit different from what one uh, associates with uh, the Easter story. And uh, I have to attribute much of the concept of this piece to David, who, who uh, not only came up with the concept, but then came up with this uh, marvelous uh, libretto. It starts at the empty tomb and then goes up to the point where uh, the ascension. And it's not a period of, of time that we think about so much, and particularly the, the witnesses uh, uh, after the tomb was empty. But it does take us through that, in, in 20 minutes it takes us through many of the events that uh, uh, are associated with the Easter story but we don't uh, think of so much in terms, certainly in terms of musical de depiction.